Hey, world. So I wanted to ask you something. Have you ever had some kind of service or a product that you bought and you liked it so much that the company advertised it again or the same kind of service to you again in the future? Well, there's always a, a service that will try to influence you to come back, but in an attempt to, to try to get more money out of you. I know uh, this uh, loan company. And uh, I used it one time before to, to get a, a small loan so I can help make a payment on my credit card. But then afterwards, I decided that uh, I'm not, not going to do it any, use the loan anymore. And I was going to focus on you know finding a, a regular job, and that the loan was just a temporary thing and never again. But what this company is doing now is now that they're pushing and pushing and pushing and saying that hey, we know you, you used to be one of our customers. We want you to come back and uh, take out a, a loan and we'll prove you again f f for this many dollars. That doesn't work for people. I mean, people do not want to be pushed around like that. If if you want to get a message across, ask them if they're interested. If they're not, then just back off. I mean, seriously, it's just a very really ridiculous kind of thing where it's like constantly, I keep getting it uh, all the time, this, uh, this uh, advertisement in the mail saying that, yeah, you were a customer with us before, we want to come back with us again, and then within like a couple of days, the phone you say like, "Have you got a letter?" You know, we we're trying to get a hold of you, and you're like, "No, I don't want to be part of this anymore." And you're like, "Okay," and then later, a couple of weeks later, they'll send you another letter saying that you know, "Hey, you're a customer. You should rejoin with us." And it just freaks me out a lot of time because we you know when you're going to do this, I mean, you should think to yourself a little bit in the head like, if you're gonna be you know buying something. You should think about it, you know what kind of things that will, will influence your decision. You know, like marketing, basically. And you know, there's always the this, this catchphrase. You know, there's never a stupid question, only stupid people. Well, that uh, generally uh, comes around very often because when you're trying to make a marketing decision, it's always important to think about the pros and the cons of, of the marketing decision, whether this will benefit you or make a big disappointment in, in your life. And when you think smart, you make the good decisions. And I, and I did make a, a good decision with this loan company, but what they're doing is making a negative decision by pushing me into coming back. And, and more. The service they should provide is that if, if you want to be a part of this company, then just let them do their own, th let, let the customer do their own thing, and then trust in the customers so that they make a comeback. You don't just throw down in the throat, you know, with, with advertisements to saying that, hey, you know, come back, you know, we miss you, your service, we, we're losing money on you. The customer should be always right, you know, not with what they think, you know. Like, things like this will, will, will cause the customer to, uh, to, to output a, a service or not buy the, the, uh, a certain product from the company ever again. I mean, if companies think like this, then they're just going to lose customers regularly. And what I mean by the, the phrase, there are, no, there, there are no stupid questions, but only stupid uh, uh, people, is the phrase that somebody I've heard before is saying that an engagement ring should cost 50 bucks. Wow, I mean, that's, uh, that's a little bit risky for, for a price like that, because that means that the metal and the diamond aren't real at all. Basically, that means that, that this, this person is selling like a some kind of fake uh, uh, engagement ring, and who knows if your fiance will even accept it. It might turn her, her finger green, you know, who knows what. So it's a lot of thinking, like, uh, generally, uh, something like that would cost you like three times your own salary. So you should f always f focus on making a smart choices in life and telling your, your company, uh, company that, that you're dealing with, let's say like it's Best Buy or, I don't know, Starbucks or something like that, that you're the customer, you're the, you're, you're going to make the decisions, or otherwise they're going to lose on, on you. I mean, in Starbucks, for example, they uh, uh, heard some stories from, from someone else before that, that they lost a customer because the lineup was too big, or, or the gift card that they got was not working, or, or who knows what. It, it just meant, it, it just, uh, uh, those kind of things are really irritating because, you know, if they really trust in the customer, they should let the customer really, you know, make their own decision and not push it by saying, you know, like sending out the advertisement daily saying that we miss your service, please come back, we, we can't, you know, just do this without you. They're going to lose the customer no matter what, if they keep, keep on doing it like that. But otherwise, just focus on, you know, just th sending out, uh, uh, you know, 
I say one email or one regular mail. I say like, "Thank you for your service. We hope you in the future you'll come back." And that's it. And nothing like, "Oh, daily," you know, in the mail or uh, uh, saying phone calls, saying like, you know, "Can we see you possibly this Saturday or, or next week or something?" Like that. Like, no, that doesn't work that, that way. So the question for for today is. Have you ever had some kind of like, uh, service or you bought a product that you were not ever satisfied or some kind of service you just walked out uh, on? Leave your interesting comments or video responses in the section below. Until next time, it's the AirPod 15 and I'm...